Welcome to the AutoDS for Data Science Challenge. How to set up a, an account and then play a, a challenge in this website. First, in the home page, you can see all the competitions, the most recent ones that have been closed already. And this one that is, for example, today is the 11th of, of June is current open and one can can play this one. If you click here, you can see the details of the competition, like the starting date and the ending date. And you have the options to download a Python code, a notebook Python code, or a R code to play the game. And you can see the best current score from the players that already played the game. If you click here to download the Python code, for example, it would say that you need a user to download. So how do you sign up? You sign up by clicking in here. So you put your email. Please use the email of if you play from university with a professor. So you choose the, the email that the professor would recognize. And then you choose a user. I'm going to choose Manuel Gardi here choose a password and pick player, please. And then you would say, uh, send an email to you. So you get the email and you click here to confirm. So the email has been validated. You can now log in with the password you've just created. And those are competitions that I've already played. So I already had this user. All my com the competitions are in here, so I can enter. This competition was created by another user, MF Alonso. That's the professor. And I can enter here, and I now can download the Python code. And if I download the Python code, I'm going to simply I can go now to the to where the downloads are. So I can, in this case, I can open Spider. Spider is in here, so I can bring to Spider, and everything is set up for you already on this uh, on this starting code. It grabs the file for the correspondent file for the competition, the training data set. And the testing, the test data set is already downloaded for you automatically. It does a very simple data cleaning, get only the numeric the numeric um, characteristics, the numeric data, and creates a logistic regression. And then this one you shouldn't change, please. This one submit the result to the website with your user and your password, but it's encrypted, so nobody can see it. So if you simply hit run, it would send a prediction and you would get here what your genie is. So you already competed. And if I come now to this competition and hit to see the competition again, so I'm going to F5, I can see that I've just sent a prediction today for this user. So this is the last prediction received for this user. This is the best score ever for this user. So in competitions, you only see the best score for that user. So that's using Python. That's using uh, Python in Spider. How you would do with the um, notebook. So it's the same thing. So and I'm changing the directory to where the file is so I'm gonna open Jupyter notebook in here, the competition file in here. Please uh, don't change the name of the file currently because I'm not being able to grab the name of the file. So if you remain with the name, that's gonna be okay. So otherwise, if you rename it, please rename the name of the file at the bottom here. Make sure you put the same name as you change in here. That, that will help me, OK? The same thing help, happens in here. You just run this bit, run this bit, run this bit, run, 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 and run, and run. 
and it will send the prediction. So if I come back here and do an F5, I now have a new version sent by this user. It's getting the same, the same result. Same goes with DR competition. So you can download the R file, download it and change it to send the submission. So the R code is also, it also works. It also downloads everything and submit itself with the password at the, at the end. Okay. This is a classification competition. So you using them. I'm currently using the metric uh, Genie. However, the platform allows more metrics. But for this competition, it's uh, Genie, the metric that is going to be used. And the uh, time for waiting. So if you hit run too many times here, the competition will say, please wait for a second why is it saying that because there is a rule of 30 seconds between submissions finally uh there is a number of daily attempts for this competition is 10,000 attempts daily well for other competitions maybe less than 10,000 this is like a free or like an open competition in here 30 seconds so you can read a little bit about the competition in in here so remember to register before downloading the file and competing so i hope you enjoy and your professor will probably tell you uh what's the rule for transforming this core into um into a grade because it's not automatically done by the because every competition every data set has its own top value so it is going to depend in this case specifically the top is 56 uh, percent genie 0 0.656 uh, so the in this case the professor is myself and um, the top genie the the, G, the score on the competition is multiplying, is got by multiplying this number by 17. But that would depend on each competition that you are in and, and the metric as well, because it may, may, maybe the metric will be accuracy. And with accuracy, it's going to be something else. And if the metric is, is, is Spearman correlation or correlation or R square, well, that will be, the, that will be a rule up, um, based on that. If I then log in into the website, I can see all my submissions on my competitions for all competitions that I've competed. And in this case, I only have competed in, oh, I have competed in a couple of competitions, you can see here, and I can even filter the 6A competition, that is the one I'm competing right now, all my submissions. Obviously, if you improve your, if you improve the model, that's your challenge to change the logistic regression to something else to change things on this uh, python file because you're a data scientist uh, you're going to improve this score so that's your challenge and you could see all your submissions in here um, but as you as you know only your best score is being showed when you entered at the ranking here compared with all the student all the rest of the students and should you want not your username professor will basically have access to your email as well so if you and what's public here is your username so if you don't want to reveal who you are and make yourself anonymous make sure you you create a user that is that it don't review your name. So you can create a nickname or something. Okay, so the nickname will be up, will be available for everyone to see it, but the details are not. Finally, if you hit profile here, you can see your username, your email, uh, and you can reset your password if you, if you wanted to, once you uh, logged in. Okay, you can, you, you can reset your password.
there'll be an option here uh, at the top to reset password as well.